So, I just watched the Boba Fett trailer. That, uh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty dope. It's, it's sort of following that, that formula of, uh, what Mandalorian set up of following the, the underworld and sort of really exploring the underbelly of the galaxy. Um, you know, that was one of my favorite aspects of the Mandalorian is we got to see the kind of world that we've always touched upon, but we've never really delved into, like, unless you watch the animated shows or something. So it was great to see it in live action. And I've got to tell you, already there's going to be a meme already of that line speak freely there is already that meme is in motion like i can tell tomoira morrison's just gonna have a real fun time with this like because you know as much as i love boba fett let's be real jang he doesn't hold a, a candle to Django fett he doesn't hold a candle to dinjarin at all however now because of his resurgence in mandalorian i'd say he can definitely hold a candle to them but beforehand all he did was put captain solo in the cargo hold and get killed by a blind man. So, you know, this gives him that nuance of, you know, holy shit, you know, this guy's bad to the bone. Um, and he's taking up Jabba's position. You know, Jabba is now dead. That means there is a seat available in the galaxy. And who, what better person to fill it than Boba Fett? And he's got his wing, you know, wing girl, Fennec Shand in there. Um, I hope Dinjara maybe appears in some way, shape or form. You know, I think that would be pretty cool. You know, have their little, you know, buddy cop sort of duo thing still going. Um, but it looks solid. Like, I really love the aesthetic of it. It's carrying on that sort of formula um, that Mandalorian had. And I think one of the good things about this is it's not like as cool as it is to have Boba Fett back. It's not just like, oh, my God, Boba's back. Like they're giving him a meaningful story. They're servicing it in some way. And I really feel like we're now going to see the real Boba Fett. So like, you know, Star Wars lore nerds, you'll know in canon, Boba Fett compared to other bounty hunters. In Legends, however, <whistles> so I think they're going that kind of route. We're going to see a very Legends-esque Boba Fett. And I got to say his new armor is sick. I love how he has the seat at the table. He's like, speak freely. It, it's perfect. Guys and girls, jump in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this trailer. Um, you know, I'll talk a bit more about it tonight. I think I'm going to do a chosen live tonight, actually talking about it because I want to go through the trailer. I want to talk about it. So chosen live is returning. I know I said I'd do a video um, chosen live on Robbie, but I'll do that probably during the week. But tonight chosen live Boba Fett. I'm going to go through the trailer. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I think mate, we can expect what might happen and where I think the show is going to go and why I think it's also building the same way the Ahsoka show is building, the same way Mandalorian is building upon this connected cinematic universe that will essentially give us the sequel trilogy before the sequel trilogy, if you see what I mean, you know, if you see. But uh, jump in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of the trailer and speak freely. But yeah, Chosen Live tonight, Book of Boba Fett. I'll be there to break it down. I'll see you all there.